Hello and welcome back to another ADT 2007 lesson on wall cleanups. Uh, and this is a pretty uh, pretty easy lesson here. We're talking about merges and joins. So uh, let's start with the uh, with the join tool. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go click on my eight CMU wall. I'm going to draw a piece of wall over there. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to another piece of wall over here. Okay, and I'm going to see there is the baseline. There is the baseline. What a merge does is you can take a wall like this now especially if they're similar uh, priorities and materials and you can take those now and now I can click on this I can right click and say clean up add merge condition and then pick this as the object and hit there I'm done now if I actually click on here right click and I go back to my good old toggle graph line display if I click on here you will actually see an extra little grip on here a little minus sign now if I take this piece of wall and move it over to here we don't have a problem As soon as I move that because they've a, a merge condition has been set up now you're gonna see this little um, anchor line here and then if I click on this it gets rid of that merge condition once again maybe I'll make this the host right click clean up add merge condition click on here hit enter and I'm done okay now I'm gonna go back turn up my toggle my graph line you can see this over here boom and now what happens is doesn't matter I can come back anytime and I can take this and I can move that wall and it will do a cleanup because there's a merge condition okay if I go back and sometimes we can you know change the thick the width of the wall in this case I can't really stretch the width of the wall but if you have a flexible width I can stretch this and start to make some columns or whatever I want to make off of uh, off of this wall okay so merge condition and then you can click on it later right click clean ups remove all merge conditions and then remove that merge condition oh well guess what that didn't do it because that's not the host this is the host so now I need to go back in cleanups remove merge conditions and I'm back to that okay so other than that basically a merge will make them force a cleanup and uh, and that's it so I guess I guess anytime you wanted you could you know form a merge condition if you're not cleanups aren't working I would say you know use it sparingly but at the same time you might as well take advantage of the tool if it's there so merge basically again if they're the same type if we have two different types of walls we might not get such a nice you know condition if I take this wall over here and draw that in there and I take this and I move this up to say somewhere you know off of here okay I'll add a merge condition right click merge and this one enter and it's gonna do that now what happens is once it does the merge it's like a cleanup it starts comparing the priorities again so why did it get rid of all of the drywall and the furring here simply because the CMU is a higher priority so the CMU worked its way around just like you're seeing right in front of you okay so that's the priorities at at work there so still merge condition you can mix and match them and all all a merge does is force a cleanup and after then it's comparing priorities just as if we had done it uh, just like in our previous lessons so the next one we want to talk about um, is um, is join now with join isn't really something I've used a lot of but what join is is for instance if these two walls are exactly at end to end okay the, first of all they'll do a cleanup notice that the vertical seam line disappeared when I put that wall there this is one wall this is another wall okay the line is disappeared because the two baselines are touching and it's actually doing what is a cleanup even though they're end to end the two these two lines are touching so it's doing a cleanup and they're the same type of material and priority so then everything's good uh, what a, a join does is I can take this I can right click and I can go straight to join and say join this and this and now that has become one wall the thing with that is they have to be the same wall type they have to be going in the same direction and the baselines have to be dead on so the to do a join the walls have to be identical uh, wall types and they have to be exactly end to end um, 
with the walls. So if I took this and I did a mirror of this, you know, like that, that's a good condition where I could do that. There's my wall. There's another wall. Simply go in here. It's the opposite of break. Join this with this and you're done. No big deal. You can maybe read up a little bit on that. So um, merging and joins. Just a couple extra tools to try to get in. Help your walls clean up a little better with each other.